Dear students, there are many kinds of animals around us. Animals like a lion, a tiger, an elephant, a deer, a giraffe, and a bear live in the jungles. They are wild animals. Similarly, animals like a dog and a cat live in our homes. They are domestic animals. Animals like a cow, a buffalo, a sheep, and a goat live at our farms, and they are also domestic animals. A horse and a donkey are also domestic animals. People keep domestic animals in their homes and at their farms for different uses. Now let us talk about the different uses of domestic animals. Some of you may have a dog in your homes. You play with your dog. You run with your dog. And sometimes you even go for a walk with it, don't you? People keep dogs in their homes for pleasure and for fun. Some of you may have even a cat in your homes. You play with your cat, don't you? People keep cat as well for pleasure and fun. So, people keep domestic animals like a dog and a cat for pleasure and fun. They also keep animals like a parrot, a tortoise, a fish, and a mina for pleasure and fun. The animals we keep in our homes for pleasure and fun are called pet animals. Students, you must have seen a dog barking at strangers. A dog knows the people of your house, but it doesn't know the strangers, so it barks at the strangers. A thief is also a stranger. So, by barking at the strangers, the dog protects our home from the thief. A mouse troubles us by eating our grains and cutting through our clothes. But a cat chases a mouse. When a cat sees a mouse, the cat immediately chases the mouse. So, a cat protects our house by keeping the mice away. Therefore, people use domestic animals like a dog and a cat for protection. Students, you all like to drink milk, don't you? We get milk from the domestic animals like a cow, a buffalo, a goat, and a sheep. Milk contains all the nutrients, so milk is called a complete food. We should drink. A glass of milk every day. Milk helps us to grow. It also makes our bodies healthy and strong. 
Most of you love to eat an ice cream, don't you? An ice cream is also made from milk. Things made from milk are known as milk products. So, an ice cream is a milk product. Butter, ghee, cheese, and yogurt are also milk products. So, people keep animals like a cow, a buffalo, a sheep, and a goat for milk and milk products. Most of you eat meat. We eat meat of animals like a goat, a sheep, a buffalo, and so on. So, animals like a goat, a sheep, a buffalo give us both milk and meat. We eat meat of a hen and a duck too. Not only meat, we get eggs as well from a hen and a duck. The geese and the quail also give us eggs. An egg is rich source of protein, vitamin and mineral. Eating eggs make our body healthy and strong. Students, we drink milk and eat meat and eggs. So, they are our food. So, people keep domestic animals like a cow, a buffalo, a goat, a sheep, a hen and a duck for food. Students, most of you may have eaten honey, haven't you? Honey is sweet. It is also used to make different medicines. Do you know where we get the honey from? Honey bees give us honey. Not only honey, the honey bee also gives us wax. This wax is also used to make medicines. We light a candle to get light, don't we? A candle is also made from wax. Thus, people keep the honeybees for honey and wax. Students, you wear woolen clothes like a sweater and socks and a muffler in winter, don't you? Woolen clothes are made from wool. Do you know where we get the wool from? Domestic animals like a rabbit and a sheep have thick fur on their bodies. Fur of these animals are used to make wool. So, Domestic animals like the rabbit and the sheep give us wool. Domestic animals like a yak and an angora also give us wool. Now this is a silkworm. The silkworm feeds on mulberry leaves. It produces the silk thread. The silk thread is used to make silk clothes. Clothes made from silk are light 
and soft. All of you wear leather shoes on your feet, don't you? Leather shoes are made from leather. Things like a bag, a suitcase, and a purse are also made from leather. Now, can you tell me where we get the leather from? Domestic animals. When domestic animals like a cow, a buffalo, a sheep, and a goat die, people take their skins from their bodies. This skin is used to make leather. The leather is used to make things like a shoe, a bag, a suitcase, and a purse. Students, in towns and cities, we have big roads. So, in towns and cities, people travel from one place to another by vehicles like a car, a bus, or a motorbike. But there are places where we do not have roads for vehicles. Have you ever wondered how they travel in these places? People ride a horse in these places to travel from one place to another. They also ride an elephant to travel from one place to another. This is a desert. In the desert, we can see only sand up to great distances. It is very difficult to make the road in the desert. And no road means no vehicles. Animals like a horse and an elephant cannot live in the desert for a long time. Thus, we cannot use them to travel from one place to another in the desert. Then, have you ever wondered how people travel in the desert? People ride a camel to travel in the desert. So, people use domestic animals like a horse, an elephant, and a camel to travel from one place to another. People also use these animals to carry their loads. People use a donkey and a mule as well to carry loads. So, people keep domestic animals like a horse, an elephant, a camel, and a donkey for transportation. Dear students, farmers need to plow their fields to grow different crops. Do you know what they plow their fields with? They use domestic animals like an ox and a he buffalo to plow their fields. So, people keep domestic animals like an ox and a he buffalo for farming. A cow excretes dung. The dung of a cow is known as cow dung. Do you know how farmers use this cow dung? Farmers use the cow dung as manure. Farmers add cow dung 
to the soil in their fields. When the cow dung is added to the soil, more crops grow on the soil. This soil is known as the fertile soil. Thus, farmers use dung of the cow as manure. They also use the dung of animals like a buffalo, an ox, and a goat as manure. So, people keep domestic animals like a cow, a buffalo, an ox, and a goat for dung. Students, you have learnt about the different uses of domestic animals. Let me recall them. People keep domestic animals like a dog and a cat for pleasure and protection. People keep domestic animals like a cow, a buffalo, a sheep and a goat for milk, meat, leather and dung. People keep domestic animals like a hen and a duck for meat and eggs. People keep domestic animals like a sheep and a rabbit for wool. People keep honeybee for honey and wax. People keep domestic animals like an ox and a he buffalo to farm their lands. People keep domestic animals like a horse, a donkey, a camel and an elephant for transportation.